The invasion Baylor had dreamed of for three years never happened, and he had to watch his last-ditch army disintegrate in front of him. He knew it was over when in Huntsville, Texas, he had to use his gun to stop a mutiny and riot brewing among the restless, demoralized troops. With his hand on his revolver, Baylor said, I'll be damned if you rob your state. I will protect her property. Himself demoralized, the old Indian fighter took his shattered dream back to his farm at the edge of Comanche country. As Baylor walked away from his brigade and dreams of redemption, the remnants of the 4th Texas Arizona disintegrated into literal banditry. Many of the regiment's men were deserters and draft dodgers, and many of them were recruited from the jails in the first place, so it's no surprise that when discipline broke down, the ruffians and criminals went back to being ruffians and criminals. They went roving through the West Texas countryside, preying on civilians with robbery, rape, and occasionally murder, resulting in other Confederate soldiers being deployed to hunt them down. 